Welcome to part 2 of the multi-part tutorial on Black Seas. I will show you how to paint up the 4 major nations in this game. Regardless of the nation you're painting, you'll want to prime all the ships black. Be sure to cover everything from all angles, including from the bottom. I prefer priming with an airbrush, but you're able to do this with an aerosol can as well. Next, you will want to zenithal highlight everything with white primer, and you'll do this from a 30 to 45 degree angle all the way around. This gives the top a nice white appearance and the bottom black like shadow. I'll be following the paint schemes that are prescribed in the rulebook fairly closely. This video contains the how to paint tutorials for all four nations, so use the chapters in the description to jump to the ones that you want. Let's start with Emperor Napoleon's Conquering French Navy. I'll be painting up the French flagship Lorient, which I featured in the first video. All the ships in my French fleet follow the paint scheme that you see in the rulebook, so I'll be using it on this ship as well. For the light yellow of the French, I use Moon Dust, which is an acrylic paint from Army Painter. I mix it up 50-50 with Flow Improver, and then I shoot it out of my airbrush onto the hull and onto the bowsprit. I also applied it to all three masts. For the deck of my French ships, I use a slightly lighter brown, which in this case would be desert yellow acrylic paint, and I apply this with a broad brush onto all the deck top surfaces. I next use Skeletal Bone, which is an off-white beige looking color, and apply them to all the bunched up sails, and I also put this on any of the lifeboats that I see on the ship. Next, I use matte white acrylic paint, and this goes on to all the stern areas of the ship right here. And this is mainly where all the windows are located. Next, I use Blood Red Army Painter Speed Paint, and with a pointed brush, I apply it onto all the gun ports on both sides of the ship. Next, I use High Lord Blue Speed Paint, and this goes onto all the upper rails of the deck. These are mainly in the forecastle and the quarter deck areas. And there are also a few small areas in the stern of the ship where this blue is applied to as well. For instance, in this lower corner right here, along the words Lorient, and then also along the top. Along the sides of the ship, the trim in between the gun ports also gets this Hyler blue speed paint. Finally, there are a few areas in the bow that get this blue paint as well. Next, I use Greedy Gold Acrylic Metallic Paint, and this goes on the figurehead on the bow, and the three lanterns on the stern of the ship. Grim Black Speed Paint works well on this light yellow color. You can paint right over it, and I do this on all the yards, gaffs, booms, and crow's nests. Areas of the bow sprit, like the Gammon Iron, also get this black. There are four anchors total, two on each side, and all this get grim black as well. Now with a smaller, more precise brush, you can line these little lines on the bottom of each of the masts, as well as the bow sprit. Just work your way around it and make sure that you get it from all angles. Then also apply grim black onto all the top deck guns. Moving onto the sides of the ships, Go ahead and slowly paint all the exposed guns on both port and starboard sides. Next, paint the waterline and the lower hull black with Grim Black Speed Paint. Onward to washes, I use Strong Tone by Army Painter and I apply it onto all the rolled up sails. And this also goes on any of the golden parts like the figurehead, on the windows towards the stern of the ship and onto any of the lifeboats on the side or on the top deck. And then after that, the top deck itself also gets this wash, so you get definition and are able to see all the planks and contours. I also use this wash in the beak area and along the bowsprit. Wherever I need a little bit more definition, I carefully apply a little bit of the wash. Then I use some of the moon dust yellow and I touch up the words Lorient on the stern of the ship. I do this with a detailing brush and just lightly feather it almost at a parallel angle to the surface so that the color transfers onto the words and not onto the background. Here is a turntable view so you can see where all the colors went. This is the paint tutorial for all the ships from Great Britain and I will be painting up the one and only HMS Victory 
which I featured in the first video. It closely follows the color schemes in the rule book and also matches the rest of my fleet. The first thing I'm going to do is use this matte black acrylic paint and paint all the features that are black. For instance, the crow's nest, all the yards, the booms, the gas areas in the front where the bowsprit is, for instance, the dolphin striker, and the gammon iron. All the four anchors, the various rails along the top deck, all the guns protruding out of the port and starboard sides of the ship. Along the waterline and the lower hull. And with a smaller brush, I also apply this onto all the lines on the three masts as well as the bowsprit. Next, I switch to Zealot Yellow Speed Paint, which I apply straight up from an airbrush. I apply this onto the port and starboard side hulls, onto the bowsprit, to the stern quarters of the ship, and the three masts, the fore, main, and mizzen. I use hardened leather speed paint on the top deck of the ship. It gives it a very nice brown and rich look, and it goes very easily into all the small areas and tiny creases where regular acrylic paint usually has trouble getting to. I use skeletal bone as an off-white and I paint this on all the lifeboats as well as the unfurled sails on the masts. I use matte white acrylic paint in only one area, which is the center railing of the ship right in here. I next use blood red speed paint and this goes on the inside of the railings just to give it a little bit of interest and I also paint all the gun port windows with this as well. I next apply greedy gold metallic paint onto the figurehead in the bow and then the three lanterns in the stern. I next use grim black speed paint which I apply into these areas on the stern quarters of the ship. I do my best to put the speed paint only in the recesses of these areas and try to avoid the high raised areas. This is to keep the raised areas a little bit brighter and their features more defined. One of the last steps is to apply strong tone wash onto all the unfurled sails, the white center railings, the lifeboats, and the areas painted greedy gold on the bow and the stern of the ship. Next, I use demonic yellow acrylic paint and a detailing brush. I slowly transfer this paint onto the raised victory words on the stern. This works best if you angle your brush almost parallel to the words on the hull. This method applies the highlight only to the raised areas and leaves the recesses untouched. Here is a 360 degree view of the fully painted ship. This next painting tutorial will be for the Spanish Navy. I will be following the paint scheme that you find in the rule book and it's also the scheme that I use for most of my own personal fleet. I will be using the Satisima Trinidad, which is one of the largest flagships in the Napoleonic era for this tutorial. I start with Blood Red Army Painter Speed Paint and this time I'm going to apply it with a brush. The reason why is that the front and the back, I would like to keep them white. So if I were to airbrush it on, it would probably get into these areas. So for more control, I'm using a broad brush instead. And I liberally apply this color all over the port and starboard side hulls. I do however slow down whenever I get to the stern or the bow where I would like to keep those areas white. I next use hardened leather speed paint and I apply this onto the top deck of the Satisima Trinidad. All my Spanish ships have this dark tone on the upper deck so I'm following suit here. I next use Zealot Yellow Speed Paint and I apply it onto the foremast, the mainmast, and the mizzenmast. I also apply Zealot Yellow to the bowsprit. Next, I apply Grim Black Speed Paint onto the areas that are either yellow or white. For instance, I apply it onto the crow's nest, onto the yards, the top gallant cross trees, the gammon iron and dolphin striker on the bowsprit, the areas here on the forecastle, the top of the rails on the top deck, the four anchors, two on the port side, two on the starboard side, the inside of the railings, 
and a few areas at the stern of the ship. I try to avoid any of the raised areas, but even if I miss it, it's not a big deal. Later on, I'll be applying gold to the raised areas. Now I change to regular acrylic matte black paint. The reason why I'm using this instead of speed paints is that I found grim black doesn't really want to work well with blood red speed paint. So along the port and starboard sides of the ship, to paint all the trims as well as the lower part of the hull, I use matte black instead. It just adheres a little bit better and doesn't interact with the red as much. I also use black acrylic paint on all the guns on the port and starboard side and there are quite a few of these on the Satinsima Trinidad. It really liked its guns. For the rings on the mast, I could use either matte black or grim black. Either one will work just fine. And I go ahead and do it like I did the other ships where I just use a detailing brush and carefully lay it down all the way around the mast. I next use electric blue acrylic paint and this is an excellent color that goes on the stern of the ship. I apply them to these areas that I'm showing here. Like the other ships in this tutorial, I use skeletal bone as an off-white color on the stowed sails and I also use it on any of the lifeboats that are on the ship. Greedy gold metallic paint goes on the figurehead and the lanterns on the stern of the ship. Next, I use strong tone washes on the areas of the ship such as the sails and I also use it on the forecastle area right here in any of the lifeboats and in the bow and the stern like the beak of the ship the railings and the windows in the rear i also make sure to wash the gold parts like the figurehead and the three lanterns on the quarter deck as a finishing touch i'm going to use a small detailing brush and applying greedy gold on a parallel angle to the hull right here this will highlight the words Satissima Trinidad and include some gold trim all the way around the stern. And here is the fully painted Spanish flagship ready for rigging and sails. Onward to one of the most famous tall ships in history, the USS Constitution. In fact, this ship is still actively commissioned by the US Navy and is currently docked at Boston Harbor. I will paint it to match the rest of my American fleet, which closely follows the rulebook. The first color I will be using is Blood Red Army Painter Speed Paint and I will be applying this onto the upper and lower gun ports right here. Next, I switch to Grim Black Army Painter Speed Paint and this goes on quite a lot of the model since most of it is a black and white ship. I first apply it to the regular areas that you saw in the first three sections of this video which are mainly the yards, the boom, the gaff, crow's nest, parts of the bowsprit, and also the anchors. The rails along the top deck are also painted black. I also apply this black speed paint to the stern area of the ship as well. I try to avoid painting onto the constellation word and I basically try to stay away from the raised areas as much as I can. However, I'm not really worried because later on I will be painting the word constellation over with some gold paint. I next apply the grim black speed paint onto the waterline and the lower hull, painting everything black. I then switch to a smaller brush and I paint all the guns on the port and starboard side of the ship. Following the box art and trying to distinguish the ship from the rest of my fleet, I add some hardened leather speed paint onto the top gallants. My American ships have a lighter upper deck, so I use palette bone speed paint in this area. It acts as a very nice light brown color and distinguishes it from the other nation's fleets. I come back with some grim black speed paint and I paint the guns on the upper deck. I continue using grim black to line all the rings around each of the masts as well as the bowsprit. I next grab some of the leftover Blood Red Army Painter Speed Paint and I paint the inside of the upper deck rails in red. Similar to the previous three sections, I'm going to use Skeletal Bone as in off-white on the unfurled sails and lifeboats. Onward to washes, I use Strong Tone on all the sails as well as the lifeboats and then I apply it onto the beak of the ship. 
and then I moved to the stern of the ship where I put this wash into all the windows in the quarter deck area just to give it a little bit more definition and I also washed the rails along the upper deck. Last thing to do is spruce things up a little bit. I apply Greedy Goal onto the Word's Constitution and just like the other three ships, I find this very effective when you apply the brush at almost a parallel angle with the words and the hull. I dress up some of the trimmings on the stern of the hull with this color as well. And after this, you're basically all set with the painting. Here's all iron sights ready for the next step. Something I highly, highly recommend doing is varnishing all your models after this by applying some matte varnish. And now, all four ships will be ready for rigging sales and flags and i hope you join me on those upcoming videos see you soon